just a few miles south of Syracuse, New York, the Onondaga Indian Reservation. We have come here to sort of educate you. We want to tell you that there are many terms used to identify us. You have been taught to call us the Iroquois Six Nation Confederacy. When the French first came over into our land, they called us Iroquois. When the English came into our country, they called us Six Nations Confederacy. We call ourselves, we term ourselves as the people of the Haudenosaunee, which means the people of the Longhouse, for we surely lived in longhouses, not in teepees, as you all visualize the Indians, the way Indians live. We had a high plane of civilization. The Pullman trains patterned their upper and lower sleeping berths from the people of the Six Nation. I am a clan mother of my clan. This was the way we had of identifying our families, the families that we did not marry into because we did not have the names like Jones, Brown, Smith. So we had clans that we followed and did not marry into. So I am one of the many other clan mothers that are back home. We had women's suffrage way before the people of the United States. The women just obtained their voting rights just a few years ago. This is the first time in history that we, the traditional people, have been able to go out into the world and tell you something about ourselves. I am not a citizen of the United States. I am a citizen of my Onondaga nation. We came here with our I came here with my Onondaga uh, Iroquois Six Nation Confederacy passport. I am happy to see so many of you with long hair. I hope that you are not wearing that long hair just because it is the style, the fog. Long hair means freedom. It also means that you are strong for the good things in life. Where I come from, we have a great battle going right now that the United States is drafting our boys. We have a constitution that says that. I'm not talking about United States Constitution, our own. My own. We are also trying to get our own education so that we can teach our children our language, our songs, about our medicine and our Indian ways. Because it is easy for our people to get lost when we are suppressed. We are also trying to get back some of our wampums. Wampum is a record of our Happenings. This is our way of recording the history of the people that have been taken away from us fraudulently. You have heard much about banners all over about red power. We have two interpretations of that. The people, the Indians who grew up in the cities, the unfortunate ones, term red power as uh, sort of what people call on the militant side sometimes. Our interpretation of red power is for us to become strong in our Indian songs, in our Indian dances. There is so much that could be said, but I just want to say that I hope with this generation here, we are looking to you to help us and understand us.